I'm Kevin Price with the Department of Agronomy at Kansas State University in Manhattan, Kansas. Um, I'm a full professor and uh, my research area is in the use of satellite remote sensing, geographic information system, and in the last few years have been focused pretty heavily in the use of unmanned aircraft systems, we commonly call drones, <coughs> to, uh, for applications in agriculture. I'm working, my research is focusing on how we can use the technology to extract information from our crops, including their nutrient conditions, their drought, uh, whether they're in drought conditions, um, insect or disease applications that we're looking at. And uh, we're using, also we're working on developing systems that'll be cost effective, that we'll try to prove that work well for farmers who aren't interested in having to buy a new one every few years because they fall apart on them or if they crash them that they disintegrate. We're using foam rubber types of poems that, uh, planes that <clears throat> can take a, a lot of abuse. And uh, so one of the things we're working on is trying to find a way to build them that are much more or less expensive in that, um, you know, under 5,000 to maybe under $10,000 range for all the whistles and bells. Uh, we're looking at uh, autonomous capabilities. We're looking at 3D mapping with the technology. And uh, we're also working on the computer analysis. We've had software for analyzing satellite imagery for years, but this is a whole new different type of data. It's fine, fine resolution. We'll get pixels now. Instead of one kilometer by one kilometer, our pixels are a quarter of an inch to an inch in size. So we're seeing things that we never saw before. We're seeing individual plants, but we're also seeing the shadows in the plants and the canopy. So we're developing methods for analyzing this imagery to in ways that we've not had to analyze satellite imagery. Right now the biggest barrier we've got are the rules and regulations uh, imposed by the uh, uh, FAA. And I understand why those are important because uh, we want to make sure that we don't have accidents with them. Uh, the disappointing part is that many countries are already allowing their scientists and, and agricultural people to use this technology um, with many fewer restrictions than we have here in America. So we're hoping that the FAA will, will uh, look at the other countries and look at how things are working there and try to bring some of that, um, that less restrictive um, laws to America to allow um, academics and particularly farmers and service providers to use this technology in a safe and, and uh, cost-effective manner. And so we hope that uh, that restriction will be changed with some of the new rules that are coming out. <clears throat> the, so that is the biggest barrier by far. The uh, other barriers are things that we see disappearing very rapidly. Uh, the technology is changing so rapidly, the cost is dropping dramatically. The, uh, the, the capability of being able to fly these autonomously is already here. So we think that the, the limitations are mainly regulation. I think um, the, the people who use this the most, I believe, are the service providers. The crop scouts are going to be very heavily involved in using it. The um, uh, fertilizer producers, the insect uh, people who want to be able to show a farmer where they've got disease in their field or insect infestation or something of that sort. I think that these service providers are going to be anxious to provide this as a service to the agriculturalists so that they can be more efficient in the use of the chemicals that are used for controlling disease and insects or for nutrient um, applications so that they can not put too much or too little nitrogen in any particular spots so that it'll help with environmental concerns. So I see the um, the technology being used by the service providers. Some farmers who are very, um, who like to adopt high tech technology will certainly jump on this very rapidly. Many of them are starting to do that already. But uh, many of them will say, you know, I've got uh, plenty of farming to do. I'll ask someone else to provide this service for me.